Hello and welcome to Kemi Games Recommends The Adventure Pals, a whimsical platformer about friendship, love, exploration, giraffes, and hot dogs, developed by Massive Monster and released on Steam in April 2018. For disclosure, I received this game for free. We play as Wilton, a young boy who is gifted a giraffe for his birthday, which he promptly names Sparkles. However, the evil Mr. B kidnaps your father with the intention of turning old people into hot dogs for reasons, so you are off to rescue your dad. We have your usual assortment of platforming, combat and puzzles, but these are all fairly linear and straightforward. However, there's something to be said about how far on the opposite end of the spectrum the Adventure Pals is as compared to the gritty, grim dark universes of other games. It's bright, colourful, charming, and just a tad nonsensical, making for a wonderful gaming experience if you just want to unwind. Don't expect a massive challenge here, but rather just relax and enjoy the ride. The game is broken up into distinct levels, each split into five smaller parts, where the reward at the end of this is a ruby, the main MacGuffin driving your quest. Within each of these levels are five cupcakes and one sticker pack, where cupcakes can be traded into the Cupcake King, a magical cat, in exchange for a random cosmetic hat or a costume for your pet rock named Mr. Rock. Stickers are an added collectible, where there are 44 to collect in total, with a nice touch being that the last page of the sticker book actually features characters from other indie games such as Hollow Knight, Holy Potatoes, a weapon shop, and even a shout out to Newgrounds, which I do certainly appreciate. In order to first discover these levels, someone must mark it on your map, which is most commonly done through quests, which can be obtained from the townsfolk. For example, the male eating postman wants a giant stamp, or the band of musical foxes requires you to harvest some berries so that they can create a magical potion to get in tune with their creative side. While doing these objectives, the ruby will naturally be at the end of the level, and when 5 of these are collected, they can be turned in to trigger a boss fight, after which you will then have access to the next area with a new biome. As mentioned, this game is on the easy side, so there are player-friendly tweaks, such as a ledge grab where if you barely miss a platform, Wilton is able to use the edge to pull himself up, making for much easier platforming. Also, as long as you have potions in your inventory, these will automatically be used if you receive a blow that would otherwise kill you. You do also gain XP from killing enemies, and leveling up rewards you with an additional ability ranging from coin or XP magnets, added attacking capabilities of Mr. Rock, increased inventory storage space etc, and the level up animation is one of the best that I have seen. Gold is used to purchase items from shops, including one new sticker pack per new area, but it is generally not too much of a concern. The aspect which I love the most is the whimsical world that Massive Monster has created. As mentioned, Mr. B is turning old people into hot dogs but not in the gross manner where he minces them up since you do run into hot dog enemies in the levels which, when defeated, will thankfully free the old person. There are zombie pirate cats, a sunken city, an interesting area where you are thrust into the middle of a conflict between dinosaurs and toast, which is just as absurd as it sounds. The writing here is also light-hearted and funny, filled with puns and jokes and ridiculous situations. For example, after getting the giant stamp for the mailman, you are then able to deliver mail to the old man in town who is then elated to receive his copies of Sandals with Socks monthly and Everything New is Terrible weekly. You can help a body-conscious whale find some confidence, escape from a prison, fight some vegetables, and perhaps one of my favourite feature is the bread puns from conversations with the toast people, such as wonderful work and trust me my delicious friend, I'm on a roll. Also pretty neat is that there is a character in this town named Gaston, which was obviously French toast. Quirky, humorous, and just joyous all around. This game actually started off as a sequel to a flash game named Super Adventure Pals, 
but in the course of development, it turned into somewhat of a reimagining and into a full-fledged game. I suppose it does share similar roots to something like The Binding of Isaac, starting off on Flash and then migrating to another engine just so that the developers can do what they wanted to achieve with the game. Perhaps not coincidentally at all, is that this world reminds me a lot of Adventure Time, the popular Cartoon Network animated series, since the developers do cite classic platformers and cartoons as the inspiration behind this game. It manages to capture the weird and wonderful childlike wonder with an appetite for adventure, and in doing so has made one of the most warm-hearted gaming experiences. For these reasons, the Adventure Pals is highly recommended, so do give this a shot if you like what you see. Anyway, that will do it for this video, thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, follow my Steam Curator, and check out the subreddit to keep up with the best indie games, and I will see you in the next video.